Hi, this is Peter Godinis, your ambassador with Good Morning Oxnard, and uh, we have a good wrap up here. We have Bob Allen, an executive producer. Bob, so much is happening, and you know, I think we need a summer, so take it from here. I think we need a good night's sleep, is what we need. I know, and so I'll, I'll do this, you can talk to the group. No, no it's, uh, the whole election cycle has been quite an experience, I think, really? for both of us. I think we've seen uh, almost the lack of real, you know, over, you know, not particular issues, okay, with one side being one place. I think we've tried to do an unbelievable thing of presenting to the voting public what the positions are of the various measures, the various candidates, and it's really been an unbelievable experience. I think uh, you share the same thing do. of what we've been doing. I mean, last night uh, we had the uh, candidates form at Wainimi Bay for the uh, Port Wainimi City Council, mm -hmm. and it was the first time during this whole election cycle that all five candidates were at the at a, a forum at the same time. So it's really been good. Uh, we followed some of the other uh, campaigns throughout Oxnard, okay? We've had Steve Huber on, you know, on numerous occasions talking. Today we even brought in somebody from the Channel Islands uh, area, Very you know, who uh, basically is looking at a probably one of the treasures of the city of Oxnard and how underused it is. So. If we continue performing what we're trying to do for the general public, okay, I think uh, we're going to succeed, especially with the collaborative efforts of people like George Miller and the Citizens Journal, totally agree. where basically they are providing that outlet to a regular audience that keeps signing up more and more. And anybody who's watching this and has not signed up to be on the Citizens Journal uh, mailing list, I strongly suggest that they do, because this is where the collaborative efforts really come in. No, you George know. definitely has a gift of doing that. Nobody else has. And so, yes, I agree. And it's been nice. I mean, we had somebody like Wayne Edmonds, oh, okay, uh, you know, who is in, here's a person who's lived in this whole community his whole life, okay, raised children, grandchildren, and certainly is such an active member of the Oxford Union High School board that it's really a pleasure for us to be able to present these people to the Absolute. general public. Absolutely. The thing I'd like everybody to know, at least the plans are in effect that uh, Mark Lund, the registrar, has uh, offered us the ability to come in the back where they're counting the votes on election eve. So and we'll do that live, right? And we'll do that live. Remember we were there a couple yes, of years ago. It was uh, exciting. It wasn't a really big election, but it was still yeah, really it was fun. A lot, yeah, and uh, it's something that shows the people, you know, how the ballots start coming in. So I know everybody was talking about, you know, mail in ballots and everything. I still believe going on election day to a uh, voting registration place and seeing everybody else around on that day, at least there's nothing that can happen the day before election that would have changed that had been a write-in ballot. But it's all the people, the volunteers, I know they get paid for it, but they're still involved with being at all the election centers throughout Ventura County. And it seems like it's the one day of the year that the whole community, at least those voting, come to pass. I think in the future, if I had one uh, probably recommendation that we don't do, is we don't get to the high school students and the college students who are going in for their first year of voting. You mentioned about you know your 21-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. who basically this will be her first election. Mm -hmm. I asked my 21-year-old grandson if he was going to send in an absentee ballot from Worcester, Massachusetts. And the answer is they're not into it like I was into it, or maybe you were into it, and I know George Miller was into it. And that first election, I still remember going out to vote as an 18-year-old, you know, for my first election. It was a thrill, yeah. you know? It is. So I only want to strongly suggest that everybody out there, if you haven't voted, uh, please, uh, I think registration is over, but uh, I think today is the, what's the last, last day? day. But anyway, it's a privilege that 
we've had ancestors who have fought and died for this privilege, and I think that we ought to bring this across to our high school students, what it is a privilege for us to vote. The other thing is that uh, we're here at the corner pocket, and uh, November 2nd is going to be their grand opening, and we do have a red carpet here, I saw that, and our group from the Boys and Girls Club Teen Center is going to be holding the red carpet treatment on the 2nd of November, so right fun. here at the uh, corner pocket. And uh, I think we will let our audience know that uh, we will be uh, moving, uh, maybe not next week, but the week after to a new location that we're going to start doing some broadcasting from, the new Umqua Bank. Stephanie Pedersen. It's Stacy. Stacy. Oh, Peter. Peter. There's no editing in this, Stacy. So uh, you know where he. Goes I'm sorry, Stacy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is live television. Yeah, I know. Know. versus day television. But so, yeah. I want to thank you, Peter. No, thank for you so much, Bob. That you've put in, and uh, so much is happening. And we're just going to continue, and uh, hope everybody has a good week, and we'll see you next week. Till next time.